Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles uh, that share the very same uh, center O along with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, big red uh, circle has been given to us as 4 pi square units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region this uh, area this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, abc and we know that this is an equilateral uh, triangle and now let's recall the crucial factor the angles of an equilateral triangles are uh, 60 degrees each so therefore all of these uh, angles are going to be 60 degrees each and here's our next step since we are dealing with these uh, two concentric uh, circles let me label uh, the radius of this uh, big red circle as an uppercase r and the radius of this uh, smaller circle as a lowercase uh, r and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, yellow shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle abc minus the area of this uh, smaller uh, circle so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this uh, smaller circle uh, as well and here's our next step we know the area of this uh, bigger uh, circle has been given to us as uh, 4 pi and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where their uppercase uh, r represents the radius uh, of the larger circle and now we know the area of this larger circle is 4 pi so I'm going to fill in the blanks so 4 pi equal to pi times r square let's divide both sides by pi let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our uppercase r value turns out to be 2 units so therefore the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle turns out to be two units and in this uh, next step i have connected this uh, center o with this uh, point uh, a and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, o a is the radius of this uh, larger circle and we know the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle is uh, two so therefore this uh, o a length turns out to be two units and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency D over here and as a result we get this uh, triangle uh, OAD and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, smaller circle and we know the radius is lowercase r so therefore this uh, OD length uh, is going to be lowercase r and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees so no wonder this angle uh, ADO is going to be 90 degrees since uh, this is our radius and this is our tangent line and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem according to this theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord as you can see over here this uh, a b is our chord and this uh, o d is the radius so therefore uh, this segment uh, b d is going to be equal to this segment uh, a d and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, o a is the angle uh, bisector of uh, this angle CAB so therefore uh, this angle is going to be 30 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 30 degrees uh, as well 
and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOD we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees this angle is uh, 30 degrees and since the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees so therefore we can see that this uh, triangle uh, OAD is our special 30 60 90 triangle and here I have copied down uh, our special 30 60 90 triangle uh, OAD over here and here we can see this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle and this uh, 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle so no wonder the side uh, opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg and the side opposite to this uh, largest uh, angle is going to be our longest leg and this leg is called the hypotenuse so therefore in such kind of uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg if the smallest leg is one unit uh, then the longest leg is going to be two and this uh, third leg is going to be square root of uh, three and now we can see that our this uh, OA length uh, is uh, two units same as over here so therefore our this uh, OD length is going to be one unit as you can see over here our this OD length uh, is one and finally this uh, AD length uh, is a square root of 3 as you can see over here this AD length uh, is square root of 3 and we know that this uh, OD is the radius of this uh, smaller circle so therefore our radius lowercase r turns out to be equal to 1 and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, segment AD is a square root of 3 so therefore uh, this segment uh, BD is going to be square root of 3 units as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, length uh, AB is going to be square root of 3 plus square root of 3 is going to make uh, 2 times square root of uh, 3 so therefore the side length uh, of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 since this uh, AB represents the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle so therefore uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, of this triangle are going to be 2 times square root of 3 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, triangle we got these uh, side lengths uh, a and b and c is the angle uh, in between them so therefore uh, our these uh, side lengths are 2 times square root of 3 and likewise 2 times square root of 3 and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 and once again 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 times sine of uh, 60 degrees and now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here and now if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, simply 3 times uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 3 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, smaller circle this uh, smaller circle area and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals 2 pi r square where this uh, lowercase r uh, represents the area of this uh, smaller circle and in our case uh, our lowercase r value is 1 so therefore the area of this uh, smaller circle is going to be pi times uh, our radius is 1 uh, whole square and that is going to give us uh, pi 
So therefore the area of this uh, smaller circle turns out to be pi. And here's our final step. Now we know that uh, the yellow shaded region area is uh, triangle ABC area minus the area of this uh, smaller circle. And here's the area of this triangle ABC. And here's the area of this uh, smaller circle. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore this is going to be 3 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, pi. So therefore uh, this uh, yellow shaded region area turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 minus pi square units. And in terms of decimal this is going to be approximately equal to 2.055 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.